Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel this is Furniture Reincarnation where weary furniture goes to get a new life and a new home and I'm Betsy and uh, today we're going to be listening to a little bit of Halloween scary October music. I'll be playing um, some form of scary music uh, this for all my videos for the month of October. And also there is a contest going on um, for anyone who listens to my videos and can tell me how many times I said the word scary in all the videos between uh, the last video which was in October and starting with it until the end of October and uh, if you'll put in the comments but wait until the last one toward the end of October and from that um, group of correct answers there'll be one answer picked out of that pile and uh, the lucky person will receive a prize so please stay tuned for that and uh, thank you for joining us here today on furniture reincarnation and now let's go and reincarnate some furniture come along with me on this journey oh my we have a friend here i guess our scary journey is about to begin Okay, the last project was, um, got a little hairy there, so for this one, hopefully this one will be relatively simple. We'll see the weather, if the weather cooperates, getting a little cloudy. I'm going to need to scuff sand a little bit on this paint. I've already washed, uh, cleaned it and washed it, but as you can see, there's some wear and tear here and I'm going to be scuff sanding a little bit and probably doing some spray paint in the process I'm going to um, tape off the the black metal part so it doesn't get the uh, spray paint on it I'm just using a, a 180 uh, or a 220 um, sandpaper to step up the paint and try to uh, make sure that the uh, next paint will adhere to it correctly. And there's a picture on the side of the Rust-Oleum paint that I'm using. And for painting, spray painting, if you want to move, constantly move and overlap some, hold your hand 10 to 16 inches from the surface you're painting and try to give nice, thin, even coat. Also, you need to keep your hand up as much as possible. And keep shaking the pan to make sure the paint is well mixed. And here we have the finished product of uh, the bench after being spray painted. Looks like I may have left a little bit of blue tape on there. I'll have to check. And the back was in good shape, so I didn't have to do anything to it. So that. So one other project I wanted to get done for the day is a rocking horse. Um, actually, it's not this one. This little guy right here. And I'm going to actually paint them both to match each other. 
uh, in kind of a blue color. So first I'll be sanding this little guy and tying back his mane and tail so that it won't get paint on it. Yeah, I just want to get his mane out of the way. All right, and he's all taped up and ready to sand and paint. And let's see how this goes. Just need to scuff him up. It's already got some marks on him, looks like. I don't think they're going to be deep enough that I need to um, fill them in, though. So we're going to sand down good. And I have used a, a 220 grit sandpaper on top of uh, the other to just make sure that I've gotten um, I'm scuffed up really good so the paint will adhere to him. And he had quite a bit of shiny gloss on him. And uh, hopefully I've gotten enough off that it will work. And now we're finally ready to paint and I must have something about blue lately because again I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover. It's a painter's choice and it is in the gloss navy blue and part of the reason I chose this color is the other horse has the blue eyes, the larger rocking horse, and um, I want to have blue for both of those. I'll be painting the other one that color too. And I just thought that would be a really pretty color for um, for my grandson. So let's get started. Using a two inch nylon brush. I need to put a little light on the subject. And I believe this is dark enough that uh, it might take two coats, but um, I don't think the wood's going to tannins or come through it because it is a darker colored paint. Otherwise, I would have primed it.
probably going to need to use a smaller little brush on his face. So now I've gotten out my um, all media small brushes, four to a pack, and um, it actually gives you a guide back here and everything. So um, this is going to help out with trying to get the area, small area around the eyes and on the horse's face. So. Already done a little bit. steady hand for this. And it's good for getting in these little tiny places. And you also notice he has a place up underneath his chin that I need to get to here. Definitely good for that. Now we're going to try the other eye. Takes a very light touch just to try to get all of that area. I should have my glasses on, but I don't. And here we have our tiny horse with two coats of paint on him or her. And I think it looks really, really good. I'm really pleased with the paint. I love the way um, the Rustolium um, covers this little guy. Today on my reincarnation journey. And I hope you enjoyed seeing the reincarnation and transformation of the bench and also the tiny rocking horse. And be sure you look at the uh, contest. Don't forget about the contest. Also, uh, if you can say in your comments any types of makeovers that you've done before that uh, you liked or things that you probably wish you hadn't done because maybe they didn't go so well. I've had a few of those myself, and uh, go ahead and leave those in the comments, and I'd, be, I'd love to hear from you and, and hear about that, and uh, again, uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you the next time on Furniture Reincarnation.